I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the one and only Jack Turner. Jack, my last words to you, you only get one debut, enjoy it. You knocked the guy out in the first round, out here in Dubai, crowd going nuts. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better um, pro debut out in Dubai. Um, the arena, amazing. Um, thought it went well. First round, tap, tap. Hit him with the body shot, he went down. And then I thought, oh, I've got him here. I heard my coach say, don't rush in, just take your time. So he's come flying at me, and that's when I caught him. Caught him with the um, shot that put him down. Do you even know what shot it was? Because like there was like blistering hand speed as well. It was like, you're throwing uppercuts, left hook, straight right hands. What shot was it? I'm sure it was an, um, a lead uppercut or a left hook. I can't really remember. I'll have to watch it back a little bit later on, but it's a half. And half catch him. Jack, obviously, I, I've known you for a wee while now. You came up to Scotland for a little bit, and we, I, I've, seen, I've seen you spar a couple of good fighters up there, so I know how good you can be. Joe McNally, your coach, Deco, your coach, Liam Smith, Josh Taylor, they're all saying good things about you and how dangerous you are and how hard you hit. Especially, this was a, this fight was a super bantamweight. If you managed to get down to super flyweight with your power, how much damage can you do with the guys down there? I'll put anyone a kip at that weight. I'm not even. I'm big for the weight, but I'm also the strongest at that weight and with eight amps gloves on, it only takes one shot. So just put me in there with anyone. Just give me a year or two years time and I'll be world champion. That's what Amir Khan said to you when he posted for the interview. He said do you think you'll be a world champion. You said give me a year or two. Yeah. Um, but the, these flyweights, super flyweights, there there isn't many of you down there. You're a talented bunch, but the pool isn't that deep. There's only maybe ten or twelve years in, in the UK. Um, so British title, what are you thinking? Maybe six, seven months time, and then world honours over a year and a half to two years. Well, just yeah, yeah, just whenever I'm ready, whenever. Just, yeah. Well, listen. Obviously, like I said to you, your whole gym mates and your your coaches have got high expectations for you. And well, one of them is behind me now is Liam Smith. If you Liam, come jump in, man. You you uh, you've been here since six o'clock. Yeah, it's now what, yeah. 11 o'clock watching the amateurs and that, so you're a fan of boxing, but you've seen this kid in the gym, you've seen how good he is. It might be a little, it doesn't, it, pressure doesn't seem to phase him with guys like yourself and Joe McNally seeing how good he is, but how good is he? Yeah, very good, obviously, now, now, now people will see. I think he's just a kid who loves fighting, you can just tell, he loves a fight, so I think, obviously, he punches like a mule, especially at that weight, so you're going to be in for an exciting time, and like I said, look, for me, put me looking at it, I just think, you're going to be in for an exciting ride with him, so you must you best getting on board now. Especially back in when we were kids, Liam, probably the flyweights, super flyweights, bantamweights, ne nobody really knew who they were, they were just world champions, they weren't household names, but now we're getting household names in the Stradas and the Chocolatitos and the Yafais and all these guys, Sonny Edwards, they're household names. Can he be a household name? A million percent, even more so, because he can, you know, he can wallop, and that's, that's what's going to be so exciting about it, you know. They're known for having wars and throwing thousands of punches at that weight. You know, over 12 round fights, but when you come wall up to it's going to be, you know, you're going to be very interested. So I'm proper excited about him, to be honest with you. Yeah, you mentioned he'd throw a, a load of punches and that, like I said, the, the, the knockdown he threw, blistering speed, there was uppercuts in there, there was right hands in there. What shot, did you, did you see what shot it was? You could just hear the noise, you know what I mean? You could, the first knockdown was a bit, I think the kid was just in order out of the power, then the second one was, was brutal, you know, it was a left hook. And, Obviously, you know, the kid, kid was hurt, he knew he ain't going to get up. I don't even know why the ref counted, because you knew it was over, to be honest with you. So, like I said, he's going to have a, an exciting career. The kid can wallop. He's going to look for sparring partners, Liam. Are you game? I said no. I said, <laughs> I said no. I said, asked, asked the lads. I said, I watched them spar another one of the kids in our gym. And I just said I couldn't. You, you know, I'd have to take the power out. And I thought, I'm not taking the power out when he's walloping me like that. So I said, I'm not sparring. Don't put me in with him. And I'll be dead honest with you. I'm going to put you on the spot. What are my chances up against him? Right, well, you sparred me, Liam. What's my chances? Yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> not good, mate. Just advise you not to. Listen, Jack, you, you, you've thanked a lot of people in that ring. Uh, you had a lot of support out here. Um, you've obviously dedicated to your friend as well, who's on your t-shirt. So it's been an emotional night as well as a good night for yourself. So just one final word from you. 
Yeah, just want to um, thank everyone who's um, sponsored me. Um, just want to shout out um, to Kevin, who's been giving me my meals, all my healthy scrans. Carl, my nutritionist, who makes sure I'm on weight, lets me know what I can eat and what I can't eat. Then I want to shout out Anti Boggan from from Bayaz. He's um, looked after me, gave me a little sponsor. Um, who else have I got? Let's see. To be fair, you've got a lot there. You've got what's it? Frequency Fitness, oh, yeah, Kinetic yeah. Finance, Just Juice Nutrition. What's that one down there? Um, Kitchens and bedrooms. Oh yeah, 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 that's handy. That. Yeah, I want to shout out to Frequency. Um, been there since the start, just short me club out anything I need. They're only a phone call away, so they're being good to me. Um, want to shout out to... What was, oh yeah, I want to shout out to the, um, Lee Battle as well. Um, give me a sponsor from Croxtuff Sports Centre. Um, nice one, Lee. And I want to shout out to the, um, Mark. Um, Got me fight kit, anything I need, or oh, he's, he's always been there for me. And I want to shout out to my mate Scott um, and John um, for always being on me all the time. Make sure that I've got everything, make sure that I'm staying on track, not doing nothing that I'm supposed to, supposed to do. Um, and I want to, yeah, I lost my mate. Um, to to a knife attack and yeah it, I missed his funeral because he had to come here and fight so it was a bit like it was a bit sad really because I did want to I wanted to be there and basically give him his last goodbyes but I couldn't so this one was for Casey and yeah it's, I love you lad and fly high brother I hope I done, I'm happy I've done him proud and I want to shout out to um, my mates as well. My mates always keeping me on track. Um, just know who you are, Owen, Luke. I could, I could be here all day, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to shout out to my coaches, Joe Declan. Um, obviously, John, my coach man. Just keeping me on track as well. Make sure I'm turning up the gym. Pushing me every single day. Trying to make me better and improve. So. I just, just want to thank them. You might as well thank me as well since you're out there. You thanked everyone. <laughs> and I want to thank um, Chris and Lindsay. They've been a big help um, to me over the last couple of years now. Um, it's a long story, like, but they've basically like a mum and dad to me. Just, yeah. So, thank, I just, without them, I wouldn't be here now. So, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people, obviously, to thank there and. Uh, Listen, if that's who you've got to thank and keep you in the straight and narrow, you've got a long career ahead of you, so and it's going to be a fun one. But listen, your debut in Dubai, first round knockout, couldn't get any better than that, so go and enjoy it, Jack, and I'll see you in the next one, brother. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah, I wanted um, my bed as well. Um, nice one, Ellie, um, for keeping me on track as well. I love you. There you go. Well said, brother, well said. Go and enjoy the rest of the night, Jack. Well done, brother. to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they guilt wins. Right, the bouncers guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day,